you all for uh, for joining and, and and magically knowing how to get the the, the proper link. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to welcome everyone. It just it seems like we all need some community and we all need some safety and some grounding. And um, I'm gonna I'm gonna mute everyone. We're working on hello. Okay. And then Andrew, I'm going to unmute you. Okay. Did it work? Oh, there we go. Okay. Yep. Um, and so what I was hoping is uh, that everyone who joined the call either sees themselves as a healer or an empath or someone who's sensitive to what's going on. And I mean, we're all aware of what's going on, but in particular, I wanted to do a call for the sensitives, the healers, um, the, the, the light workers and just provide some community and you know see each other hear each other and do a little clean out a little healing a little clean out a little recharge seal it off and bring some of that strength and energy out into the world and um so i just want to invite everyone to go ahead and we're going to do a little bit of a grounding to start and i'm just going to invite you if if you're up for it to sit up, there are some people that like to do um, guided imagery or they like to do healing calls lying down. If that's your jam, by all means, lie down. Um, but if you're up for it, I would invite you to try to be upright and um, conscious. Although we are going to be, hey, Heather, <laughs> we are going to be working with some um, strong energies. And so the body may get tired, you know, whatever's most comfortable for you. Um, but the, the kind of energy I'm going to be working with I really invite people to be upright in a conscious state that's um, easy to go off and be unconscious, especially when we're laying down. And so if I can just invite everyone to find where they're sitting, find the support or the structure um, that they're sitting on. And just, you know, check in with the cushioning level. Are you able to feel the support? of what's beneath you or behind you. Hi, Estelle. <laughs> and check in with your feet. We're gonna just work through some different senses, sensory things, and check in with your feet. And how are they doing right now? What's the temperature? Are they in some good socks? Is there a nice blanket? Are you able to feel? <clears throat> Some hardwood floor and do you like it? Feet are going to be important in the work we're doing today. Check in with your hands. What are your hands up to? <clears throat> Is there a temperature, a texture, a quality of sensation in your hands? We're going to be turning on hand chakras in case you don't know, they're right about here. They're different on everyone, but they're in the centers of your palms. And I'm gonna invite you to check in with your vision. And even if your eyes are closed, uh, can you detect some light? Can you see the insides of your eyelids? Can you see whatever you were looking at from before? Like maybe there's kind of that after that after outline, whatever your information your eyes are giving you right now. Check in with your hearing. I know most of you are mute, muted right now. Check in with your hearing. If you're wearing earbuds, can you um, sense how the earbuds are affecting your hearing? Like, can you hear it wiggling around inside of your ear? Some of you have uh, waterfront noises like seagulls, <laughs> April, <laughs> Gina, um, that you're near a body of water. And from there, just check in with your taste. What a weird thing to do on a Sunday evening. Are you able to taste 
toothpaste or are you able to taste whatever the last thing was that you tasted? Are you able to taste the inside of your mouth or the air coming in or even taste a scent that's in the room around you? And the nice thing about senses, the five senses in particular, is it brings us into present time and it helps us to be present. It helps us to be present in the body. And when you can play with fun things like taste or hearing or the cushions beneath you, you can be in present time and it can pull us out of any kind of circular thinking or any anxiety and just bring us into simple, the simple things in present moment. And from there, I'm going to invite everyone to check in with what I like to call the center of the head, back behind your forehead, beneath your crown, beneath the top of your head. The center of the head is the the affectionately head. called the third chakra. I'm oh, sorry, the third eye. <laughs> third chakra is a different thing. <laughs> third eye, sixth chakra, your mental image screen where you make up mental image pictures, where you create from your imagination. This is where we're in the driver's seat of our awareness. Center of the head is where the body meets the cognitive rational mind meets the spirit. It's another great place to be in present time. Just check in with the center of your head and will you please give the center of your head, that mental image part of you, a little bit of a heads up that we're going to be working a lot with that part of you. All of us see and experience energy in different ways. Some taste energy, some smell it, some get guidance from the far reaches, get inner guidance. And we're gonna be playing with mental images. And if that's not how you get energy, it's cool. Just play along with whatever is accessible to you. There's no right or wrong way. And from there, I wanna work a grounding and I'm going to hand it over to Andrew Wood Fritz, um, my classmate and fellow teacher from the old psychic school way back when. <laughs> um, he excels at teaching grounding. So um, we're going to do a grounding exercise here. So can I hand it over to you, Andrew? Sure. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks. OK. <clears throat> so like Aaron said, just have your awareness right back behind your eyes, deep into the center of your head. And take a big deep breath in. Exhale. And one more time, big deep breath in. Exhale. And from the center of your head, would you say hello to the base of your spine? And there's an energy center there, the first chakra or the root chakra. And this has all to do with your safety and survival. And a chakra is just an energy center. It sends and receives information. And with your awareness at the base of your spine, your first chakra, just being open-minded, playful, creative, would you visualize a tree root that begins at the base of your spine? And would you imagine that tree root growing and descending below your physical body, rooting into the earth, and visualize this root descending all the way down to the center of the planet. So you're using this visual image of a tree root simply to connect the base of your spine, the very center of the earth. And just take a moment to allow that to get established. You're getting your body grounded, getting your body safe, there's more permission for you to be present 
and a way for you to release unwanted energies. And when you feel like you've established that connection, your grounding cord, would you go ahead and just bring your awareness right back behind your eyes, deep into the center of your head, and take a big deep breath in. Exhale. And just rest your attention there for a moment. Just notice what it's like to have your body safe and grounded. And I'm gonna pass back to Aaron here. Thanks, Andrew. Mm -hmm. Some of you may notice uh, yawning. I'm certainly yawning. It's uh, how I clear energy. Um, you may start to sink in a little bit deeper. You may feel some emotions pass through. And uh, the wonderful thing about that en energy cord to the ground, that grounding cord, is it gives energy a place to go. And it helps us to anchor into our home planet, which is having a lot of changes right now. The whole reason we're doing the call. So what I'd like to do is now that you're good and grounded into the earth, I want to create a virtual etheric kind of classroom gathering amphitheater for ourselves. So with your grounding cord in place, you might have to stretch it a bit. Um, but with you anchored to the ground from your imagination, from your mind's eye, that six chakra place, will you create together with all of us a clear golden bubble for gathering? And if golden bubble doesn't work, if you want a pink bubble, if you want a beachfront, if you want a park, it's okay. It's really just about the intention. What we want is a common gathering place even fancier than just a Zoom call, <laughs> where we can begin to set intention, bring in intention, where we can see one another, hear one another, support each other. If you're needing to give, if that's your jam, or if that's just really where your strength is right now and where your heart is, is in giving, then you can give to the bubble, this golden clear sphere. And if you're feeling like you need to take, or I like to put it as receive, <laughs> then, then go ahead and receive. Because receiving and giving are really flip sides of the same coin. Generous giver is a generous receiver and vice versa. We all know those people that can't, <laughs> this is a little bit of a learning curve for me, that are, have, have a hard time receiving, but can give all day. So you can play with that here in this reading slash healing gathering. So way, way up somewhere in the ether, whether it's in the sky or up in the atmosphere, however you see it, will you see yourself connected in to this clear gold sphere or golden bubble Make it big enough to fit all of us. Make it big enough to fit all of our intentions today. And while you're grounded here on the earth, will you go ahead and locate your energy inside of this golden sphere? And from this golden sphere, where we're gonna be supporting one another and holding space with one another, we're going to be mindful of the planet. We're going to be mindful of humanity and health and environment and all of the creatures of the earth and all the shifts and changes and the beautiful things that we're slowing down in order to bring in. Hey, 
and will you feel yourself connected to the golden bubble? And whatever intention you have, you can even jot them in the text box. You can wait until later if you want to do that. But will you put your intentions, what you're wanting to get out of this healing, the reason you signed in, the reason you fooled around with this Zoom link, <laughs> whether you got the, the original or the second one, what was your reason for showing up? What were you hoping to get out of this? My hope is to bring light and healing. And when everyone gets off this call, they have hope and energy and strength and feel lifted up and connected to the greater good. Whatever your intention is, please put it in this circle. And as we're getting settled in a little bit more into this amphitheater kind of classroom setting or gathering, I'm just gonna turn it over to Andrew and see if there's anything, uh, as someone who has taught astral, <laughs> is there anything else you wanna put in this bubble or anything you want to say or add to the bubble? Um. <clears throat> Well, well, one thing I, I would suggest actually, that's, that's not really pertaining to the bubble, it just, I guess this kind of goes back to grounding, is with your grounding cord, that root that you created, that's one way to release unwanted energy. So I'm sure as everyone here has been handling quite a lot of energy, um, just worries and concerns, and maybe your own or family, friends, clients, etc. Um, just giving your, yourself permission in this moment um, to let that go. Whatever you're willing to release, um, perhaps it might be around your body, um, perhaps it might be within your body in a chakra, uh, an energy channel, uh, a certain body system. But I just encourage you to give yourself permission to send that down that route. So it can be sent into the earth and, and neutralized. And that you don't have to handle that in this moment. This will help your kind of your body calm down and be a little more relaxed. And just take a big deep breath in. Exhale. And I would go ahead and just visualize your gold sun above your head. Just that um, it could be a symbol of your unique energy as a being, as a soul. And just shine that down on your body. So wherever you feel like you're releasing any of those, uh, the fear, uncertainty, uh, any doubts, would you bring your energy back? Would you shine your light and energy all around your body? And almost as if your body's a sponge, would you bring your light and energy and let your body soak it up? Your body runs best on you and your own personal energy. And as you shine that gold sun uh, light and energy down on you, become just a little more familiar with your energy. You may see it as a color, you may Notice a certain feeling, you may hear it, maybe you just know it on a higher level to be uh, returning. Just notice what you notice here. And then just bring your awareness and just rest it right back behind your eyes. And Aaron, I'll pass back to you. Mm. Yeah, thank you, Andrew. Mm -hmm. 
And as you're dropping things out, you might notice some emotions come up. You might notice some permissions or not permission to drop away something. And just note that can be part of the process. And this is all about not being an effort. What I'd like to do is also offer that we can help the globe clear some of the very things that are trying to be let go of or are going between being held on to and let go of. That as each of us release, as each of us let go of what isn't serving us, what's making us cranky or annoyed or <laughs> fearful, the grounding helps us get safe. And the safer we get, the safer we can help the planet to get everyone on the planet, all the changes going on. So as the grounding uh, is working, what I'd like to do is bring in, invite you to each bring in a beautiful, far reaching calm of light from the most soothing of places. You can call it divine light. You can call it universal intelligence. Some people call it cosmic energy. Universal intelligence. However you think of it, can you pull in from the furthest reaches of everything is possible, miracles, magic, luck, love, forgiveness, and bring in a column of light through the top of your head. Feel it going to work. So everywhere that grounding cord exercise you did with Andrew is working, know that everything you drained away out of your body, out of your mind, out of your spirit, even out of your soul, you can fill in with your own energy signature, with those divine parts of you, with the unique life force that only exists with you and your soul. You can go ahead and fill back in wherever you cleared out the gunk. And you can fill in with this far reaching universal light of everything is possible. Miracles are possible. Magic is within reach. And this is one of those places where logic might not be coming too into play. So just allow the logic to set aside and let the magic, the miraculous, universal, everything is possible from the furthest reaches of creation come in and inform the cells of your being, inform your mental self, and inform your higher self, those different aspects of you. If you want to get really crazy, you can shoot some of that light or allow some of that light to go down your grounding cord. <laughs> Feel how that is. And collectively, um, I, I just I want to give a shout out <laughs> to some special people who are in on the call that are holding space, that are not speaking, <laughs> um, that are in the wings, that have asked to hold space. So um, Kelly, Amari, thank you so much for holding space. Andrew, thank you for holding space and all of you for holding space to this group intention. With that group intention, can we all bring in a column of light collectively in through the top of the gold bubble? Kind of like the group's gold sun, how Andrew was talking about the golden sun. And feel that going to work. It may feel familiar, it may feel new. 
you may get some inspiration or some new ideas. And from there, I'm going to invite you to take your grounding, to take that calm of the light, and to take all of your unique life force signature energy and tune it up just a little bit. Let's crank it up. What is that that chef says of stir, turn it up a notch? <laughs> I know I'm not saying it right. Um, bust open a can of whoop ass <laughs> on the higher light. So turn up the volume on your intentions and know that in this group, in this group intention, when two or more are gathered or you know, about 23 of us <laughs> are gathered. <laughs> we can make miracles happen. We can affect the planet. And will you let those intentions help that gold bubble, our gold bubble, start to reach out to the rest of the planet? to the creatures of the earth, to the environment, to all the people who so desperately want some light to touch them, to the vulnerable and the infirm and the elderly and the young and the in-between. To those who are having anxiety, let's let this golden bubble bring in some safety, bring in some peace of mind, a bit of relief in the present moment. You all are doing so great. And I just want to uh, turn to Andrew and ask, is there anything you're seeing that you need to add to this bubble? or anything you're observing in terms of next steps? Mm, uh, the only thing I would add here is to just ask kind of for a healing or blessing from, if you want to call it the universe, or there's many different names we have, however we perceive that, um, for us as a group to um, receive that healing and blessing and just kind of observe that. That's what I would include at this moment. Nice. And is there anyone else who wants to wave me down or ping me or message here that wants to add something to the bubble? I want everyone who wants to have a chance to have a chance. I'm gonna unmute everybody. If you've got a loud background, just mute yourself. Kelly? Kelly's talking, we just can't hear her. You there, Kelly? We'll come back. Kristen? I'm unmuted. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Anything you want to add to the bubble or to your intentions here? Ooh. This is where it gets interactive. If, if you're gun shy, don't <laughs> worry, you can just say pass. <laughs> um, I think I'm still processing, but, but come back to me. Okay. Yeah. Angelina? Pass. I got a really powerful download, but pass. Okay. 
Zeus? Um, I, I didn't realize how much I was yearning for this oh. until I sat here in this and really, um, really got with all these places where I've been clenching down, embracing, and, and holding on tight. And so now being held in this in this bubble, in this container is really nourishing. And I'm feeling, um, I'm feeling, I'm blissing. I'm so Which glad I, you're here. I don't think I had any sense of that being possible in the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're gonna bliss with you. Gratitude, gratitude. Thank you. Chelsea? I can't tell if you're muted or unmuted. Is that a pass? Okay. Heather Fritz in Colorado. Is she you're passing Heather? She asleep. <laughs> I'll go to Stephen, Brian, Father. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Anything you want to throw in? I'm feeling a lot better. This is great. Thank you so much. Oh, thanks for participating. If you don't want to, if you don't want to talk, it's okay. You can just say pass or just indicate well, for me to pass. I do. I do belong to a, a group, a messenger of, of healers and therapists. And uh, a friend of mine, Cindy Cross, is a therapist. I've known her since her, her uh, mother was in hospice. And Cindy's uh, niece is a psychotherapist in Oklahoma. Her name is also Cindy Robinson. And I'm asking everyone to send healing energy toward Oklahoma because at this present moment, their governor's not calling uh, a state shutdown like Louisiana and Illinois, it's, doing, it, it's being shut down county by county. Now, Cindy Robinson is very positive about it, but she, you know, she's very concerned. So I, I told our group that I would put her name in with our group for Great. healing. Yeah, we got her. We got her in here. Right. Thank you. Melissa? Can you hear us? Oh yeah, I think just um, being able to be in a community right now is just is very healing for me. So um, anytime we <laughs> come together um, is, is 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 really beneficial for me during this time. So thank you for that. Thank you. It's so nice to see you. Nice to see you, <laughs> Estelle. Um. Uh, this was really wonderful. What I realized that my intention is uh, expansion, expansion uh, personally for as I navigate working in a new way and expansion for the planet to be able to absorb this new way of being easily. Nice. That's really nice. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you. Thanks. Gina? I'm going to unmute you, Gina. I'm guessing that might be it. Okay, we might not have Gina on here. Some of the connections are a little unstable. Um, Kelly? I just thank you, Sharon, or everyone for being here because I believe so deeply that coming together like this, we can transmute so much the fear and energy that's around us and the love that what this world is turning into. It, it's our time. It's our time to shine and be light in the world and expand and spread our light. So thank you for 
keeping me grounded to that so that I can manage some of those energies a little bit better as I walk this new world right now. But I feel just so much love that I'm ready. I just feel big <laughs> and I want to love everybody and thank you because you're good at that. Really grounded us into mm. that, expanding that love to the whole universe. Because it's a whole new world. It's going to be a whole new world. <laughs> I do want to have singing on this. <laughs> not not my singing. You don't want my singing. Oh. <laughs> so thanks for singing a little bit, Kelly. <laughs> and thank you for secretly holding space way ahead of time. Uh, we've been working the energy of this group for two days. So thank you, Kelly. Thank you. A little bit more than two days. <laughs> Kelly was one of the secret agents. Uh, on the on the back side holding space. So thank you. Thank you. Gina, do we have you back? You do. Oh. You do. Um, I wanted to say that uh, thank you. And when I opened my eyes and looked out after the process and saw the ocean, I could feel our connection and the beauty of the group and the connection across the world for everyone to get through and everyone to help each other. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for the view. That's stunning. That's, uh, is that Vancouver Bay? That's uh, Qualicum Beach. Oh, thanks for the view. <laughs> it's not better it's always it's always beaches with us, Gina. I know. Let's go for another walk. <laughs> yes. Very soon. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Mari, I know you said you weren't going to talk. Do you want to not talk? Mm -hmm. Love it. It's wonderful. Love you. Love you. Thank you for being on here. <laughs> Um, Mari is from Norway. She is a documentary filmmaker and she has been helping us hold space. Oh, cool. cool. She writes, she does humanitarian documentary films and is an amazing human being. So she and Kelly have been holding space for over two days. Thank you, Mari. Mm, thank you. Um, there's someone here called Vcast, which I'm guessing that's the format. If you want to speak, I'm sorry, I don't know who the name. Okay, Seely Forstad. You're welcome to us. Hi. Go. Hi. I'll just say Hello. thank you. <clears throat> Not feeling very verbal right now, but okay. Thank you very much. Thanks for being on. Yes, thank you. I appreciate it. Have you as part of the call? Thank you so much. <laughs> Um, there are some people with the same area code, so 815-981 are the first numbers. It's me, Michelle. Oh, hi, Michelle. <laughs> Over in Lockwood. I feel I'm getting all choked up here, but this is, I feel like a lot of us have been getting ready for this for a long time, and I think yep. about envisioning. Yep. And that everything I learned from there, I, it, at the time, I just kept doing it. Now I know why. And it's just very, you know, this is all coming into play right now. And all that work we did there and what we're still doing. And I think it's awesome. Yes. And uh, just to hold space for each other. I'm in a couple of other groups right now, like a, a virtual relationship. And just trying to hold space for people and playing with the energy is pretty incredible. <laughs> and kind of knowing what I know I can you know I can work with it a little bit. and uh if I can do that it helps other people you know my purpose like somebody said earlier it's like this is a change I to figure out all this out and how I I'd be of service at this hot time and how I walk on this planet and, and what I'm doing and it's not like waiting my whole life for this. Yeah everyone on this call is a healer and while we're in the bubble, I just want to point out that the light workers, how I see it, is the light workers aren't just anchoring the planet, but they're also sort of providing a shield. It's almost like they're providing a buffer. Like we've been training for this, or we've been 
<laughs> this is like, you know, when you train for a marathon, this is the marathon. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll have the after party, like the, you know, whatever you do after the marathon where you're wearing the, the foil <laughs> <laughs> and eating the bananas and <laughs> getting the massages. Um, I've not run a marathon, but I've seen them. And <laughs> there's also something the light workers are doing where it's not just providing like nourishment into the planet, but there's also providing a protection around from incoming. And yeah. we've been working with that. Several of you have been working with me with that for a few days um, on, on providing kind of the buffer around the planet for, you know, a buffer from incoming. <laughs> so anything else, Michelle? No, I, this is great. I hope we do it again. <laughs> we, we will. <laughs> Thank you. And then an 813 number. If you want to speak, I'm sorry, I don't know who, I don't know the name. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, this is Jackie and Jimmy. Oh, Jackie Tampa. and Jimmy in Tampa. And we're, sent, we're, we're sending the intention that each one of us has peace of heart and generosity of spirit as we surround the world with great, clear, abundant, brilliant light. Sending love to all of you. Blessings to you. Blessings to you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the new pups. Um, it's a 785 number. Yeah, that's me, I think. This is Bali. Ariely. Hi, Polly. How are you? We've got a bunch of people from that psychic class, Jackie and Madi and you. That's awesome. Yeah. So Christy Marie I Sheldon. would wish, yeah, I've done a few meetings like this, mm -hmm. trying to uh, uh, eliminate the negativity of the virus. How's ours going? Uh, it's, it's, when, it, it's going well. I, I believe in it. I believe in miracles. Yeah. Yeah. I believe it works. It's working. In some places around the world, it has not. Um, we have no new cases. So I think it worked. I think so too. I absolutely think so. But uh, what I would like to add is yes, acceptance and truth to those people who don't believe completely, yep. at least to um, bless them with acceptance and truth. And for everybody else, a lot of laughter and joy, because I think that's what most people need now and don't have. Everybody is concentrating about the, the uh, evil of the virus and people who are talking about it all the time. What we really need is joy and laughter. Yes. Yes, so true. Thank you for that input. It's really sure. nice. Nice to see you, Bali. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. And then um, an 847 number. I'm sorry, I don't know the name. I think I might know who it is, but I, I don't know the name for sure. And you don't have to talk if you don't want. Okay. Okay. Stacy. Hello. Hello. I am so thankful for this uh, meditation and for this situation that we all find ourselves in right now um, that we're taking time out of our day for. Um, when I brought my energy in, I could feel such a difference. And it, when it hit my throat chakra, I realized how much I wanted to sing. And so I'm going to be singing by myself later when I get off the call. It's such a healing. Just um, thank you so much. Thank you. What are you going to be singing? Songs to my cat, probably. <laughs> and what's the name of your band? Hex Kittens. <laughs> <laughs> hey, am I doing it right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go Hex Kittens. Um, Thank you. And so I just want to, um, Kristen, did you say to come back to you? Oh, um, 
Yeah, I did, but I posted a thank you. I feel so much better. I didn't realize how much better I would feel. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I just like felt so much draining out. And you've been holding space for the past couple of days too. So thank you. Not intentionally, but I do feel better. So thank you. <laughs> Um, and Heather, um, I just wanted to check in with you. Anything you want to say? Oh, I can't hear. Sorry, we can't hear. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, shoot. <laughs> I was to say, oh, um, I've been cutting cords with people for the last couple of days because I was handling a lot of anxiety from my coworkers because I worked like three different jobs. I was a yoga teacher at a studio. I worked at a hotel at the front desk and I worked at the YMCA and the craft shop, like teaching kids crafts. And I was one of the older people in there and I, I don't know, everyone just kind of like attached to me because I was a very like, I guess, strong baseline person. Um, I just, you know, you're a fit. secure object. Basically, yeah, I was a battery to everywhere I went. I told Andrew, I was like, when I go to work, I feel like I'm powering the entire place. And then when I come home, you I'm are. Tired. Yeah. And so with all of this happening, we're all losing our jobs. And I was handling so much anxiety. And I was talking to Andrew, I'm like, I never have this much anxiety. Like, what is going on? And then I've been like, oh, snip, 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 snip. I need to get all these people off me. This is what's happening. Yeah. If you, so, what is it they used to say? Uh, if you can't handle it, it's probably not yours. Yeah. If you can't, if you can't solve it, it probably doesn't belong to you. <laughs> yeah. Right. I was yeah. like, what is happening? Good job. Good job. But, but yeah, like, yeah, you have to have a safe space for yourself before you can fix other people's things. So we'll do but a working. wrap. We'll, we'll circle the wagons and do a final thing with the gold bubble. That's yeah. Kind of been working, right working on things. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, Thank you for being on this. Thanks for bringing. I was gonna say, life. I don't know if I'm helping at all. I'm doing my best, being being a little battery here. You're well. You're being a light worker, so thank you. You're welcome. Hey, um, Kristen, did we get to you? Kristen, shake. Hey. We can hear yeah, you, you got to me, oh, Aaron. There you go. there, okay. Yeah, like twice. Okay. This All right. Special. I just, you know, <laughs> that's right. We just, sorry, no time, no space. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm still grateful and I still feel better. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Angelina? Yeah. Still pass? Um, I really want to acknowledge how powerful uh, it is for all of us to be together and to solidify a higher vibrational current for the rest of the universe. You know, I know all of us are people that feel the energy currents around us and feel the energy currents of other people and other conversations that are being had that are sometimes lower vibrations or vibrations on every single layer of the spectrum. And I think that when we are coming together as light workers and we're just pouring this beautiful gold light over the planet, like we're further solidifying such a really high vibe conversation, current energy cord around the planet and how just really beautiful and thankful, honored I am to be on this and also thankful that we are doing this and that honestly, this is what is ushering that beautiful gold healing energy and solution all over the planet. I'm so honored to be here with you guys and I'm really getting a lot of beautiful downloads just being okay. here with you all. So thank you so much. And Kelly wants you to know that her nail polish matches your hair. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> she was holding her nails up to the screen earlier. I like lean in to be like, what is her nail color? <laughs> 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 
one thing I really would love to do when we go back in and everything is to really all of us together really uh, raise the vibration for other people like raise the heaviness that we all do feel and cut those cords of the heaviness that everyone's feeling and I really feel like if all of us come together and powerfully intend for solutions to come across to the planet for the the vaccines to come through and quickly and for the medicine to be quickly and easily readily to the people for like that kind of healing to sleep over with ease to the planet and that it comes quickly um and that when we all powerfully intend that 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 healing can come powerfully thank you uh last but not least uh chelsea any do you still want to pass Is that a yes? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so Andrew, is it okay if we go back to the gold bubble and reinforce it and work it? Work it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Okay. So let's take all of that goodness. Go back to the bubbles. So we've grounded, we've cleared, we've done some filling in. Um, we're going to reach out a little bit more to the planet and to each other and seal it all so that you can take all, you can like get your little go box of light, <laughs> your big go box of light. Okay. Andrew, you want to take it from there? Sure. I mean, I have uh, something to do with the planet. I don't know if that's what you wanted to go or if yeah. you want me to, yeah. that's okay. Go for okay. it, please. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So just take a big deep breath in. Exhale. One more time, big deep breath in. Exhale. Okay, so out on the astral, on a high level we have kind of us on a spiritual level, kind of in a gold bubble, kind of already receiving a healing. Um, I thought we'd kind of turn our attention um, to the planet itself here. So, <clears throat> so if you want, just imagine the planet, almost visualize yourself as if you're um, orbiting the earth and seeing the planet from that perspective. Uh, the perspective um, you know an astronaut might have or being on the moon and just take a moment to see that clearly and as that develops and as you're able to see that clearly kind of like how we've done for us would you visualize a giant gold bubble around the entire planet? And once you start to see that gold bubble, would you expand it? Expand it so that not only uh, is the planet itself engulfed in this gold bubble, but the Earth's aura is also included in this gold bubble. And we'll set the intention that this gold bubble is the energy of forgiveness. That whatever the planet itself um, or humanity is um, willing to release or let go, there's a high level of permission uh, for that to take place. If you notice yourself spacing out or going unconscious, take a big deep breath in. Exhale. And again, just have yourself visualizing the planet, with this gold bubble around it. And would you visualize a gold energy cord where one end attaches to anywhere on this uh, gold sphere around the planet. 
and have the other end go to whatever you perceive, um, if you want to call it source or the universe, many different terms. And just establish this kind of higher spiritual connection. And here's a chance where we can all ask for a blessing or a healing for the planet and humanity. And as you watch, this blessing or healing will travel down that gold cord and it will start to impact that gold bubble and just kind of slowly vibrates and resonates and begin to kind of impact the earth itself. Aaron, I want to pass to you here and just if there's anything you want to include in this or add to this, um, go from there. Thanks, that's amazing. Um, I'm take all of the strength of the exercise Andrew just took us through and turbo boost from our bubble that's inside of that earth gold bubble. And not to offend science or medicine, but we just turbo boost from our circle of light and intention and belief that where there isn't a way, ways are being created, magic, miracles, relief, cures are able to happen in ways that maybe we don't even see are possible right now, that gain ease and flow and possibility from that gold bubble from the Supreme Being, from God, from the universal intelligence, however you like to think about it, to the gold bubble around the earth, including us in that gold bubble and including all of our intentions to people whose careers are unstable, who are concerned about next paychecks, who are concerned about their health and their bodies, who are concerned about being able to connect to loved ones that we can bring in relief and repair and curative and bring in possibility where there wasn't before. The possibility can happen that miracles and magic and new ways, new roads, new paradigms can happen as easily and with as much flow and grace as possible please know you've been part of some really important work today. I want to remind you all that you're still grounded to the core center of the earth. You're anchored to your home planet. And let that core center in your head, that sixth chakra, that place where you've spent a lot of your focus today, let that part of you know, that mental image creating part of you know, that you're going to be coming out of guided imagery and back into your bodies, into your feet, and into wherever you're sitting or laying down. Go ahead and feel the connection of your body. Know that all the changes and shifts and miracles you just brought in are unwinding and unfolding in your physical bodies. Let's bless the planet with radiant health. Bless our own bodies with radiant health and abundance and clarity and safety. And feel the strength of, the, of all of us in here connected to you still. And I invite you to come on out of guided imagery. You may wanna to start to open your eyes, wiggle around, shake it out. And all of you are light healers. You've been preparing for this for a long time. And uh, having a body is a big flipping deal. <laughs> it's not for anyone. <laughs> it's not for everyone. Uh, so know that um, you took bodies for reasons. We don't always know the reasons, but these things are um, 
really important and your bright light beings that took these bodies and so i hope you're able to take the light out into the world with you and have some anchoring and have some safety um i i want to thank all of the healers that are on this call all the empaths all the sensitives sensitive in all the right ways there are tons of therapists and psychics and energy workers and coaches and holistic health practitioners on this call all of that a lot of that's overlapping and um i want to introduce andrew and thank him he uh is a psychic uh he is a resource oh there's kathy hi kathy and did hi. did you want to did you want to do the thing where you offer some some health suggestions oh yes yes hi okay. everybody i hope everybody's doing well we're just wrapping up here oh oh okay um, um, I just wanted to, you know, send a lot of love and hugs out to everybody and, um, you know, I hope everybody's doing well and everybody's family's doing well. It's a very challenging time, right? Very stressful for many of us and our families and friends and clients and all. And, you know, I think the important thing is that we stay calm right we stay um, being the loving support and the light that is needed right now for um, the current space that we're in and circumstances and you know we do our due diligence in caring for ourselves right and that is having a healthy lifestyle um, doing our self-care eating properly, hydrating, getting out to do some exercises. And I know that sounds like just a basic fundamental, but sometimes when people get into crisis that we, we lose sight of really what's critical for us, um, for us to be there and be strong and, um, and not to panic. And the other part of that is I just wanted to share a little tidbit. Um, and that is if you go out, um, alcohol they have the alcohol swipes and stuff like that those do not kill viruses those will kill surface bacteria but they don't kill viruses and so i recommend that maybe you i put some in a little spray bottle and i carry it around with me and you know i put it in here and i spray it spray it on my hands spray it you know where i'm going and on carts or whatever like that and hydrogen peroxide does kill um not just bacteria it kills pathogens it kills viruses that's the issue that we're dealing with it's viral right and then you know we just all need to do our responsible part and do the right thing mm -hmm. that's it thank you so much kathy another holistic health healer um, we have so many resourceful people on this call and I, I'm sorry, Andrew, I started to introduce you. And um, he, I, I always um, think of Andrew as like my psychic brother. <laughs> I know <laughs> we, went, we went to the same psychic school uh, when it all began uh, for me. And um, he is a resource. He does, he does clairvoyant classes and he does um, readings and is a tremendous resource. And he and his wife are opening a psychic yoga school. Um, so I just thank you for helping co-host the call. I don't think I could have done it without you. <laughs> so I wanted to introduce Andrew and anyone else who wants to be a resource, I can put on that Facebook page, um, whatever it is you do. And if you want to be a resource, you might be so overwhelmed with clients and patients that you don't want to be. Um, and <laughs> so I can, I can post any one resource, anyone who wants to be linked as a resource on that the, the Zoom post that I put on Facebook. Or we can do it on another forum too. Um, awesome. Thank yeah, you. <laughs> thank you for thank you for having me. This is awesome. So I'm gonna mute unmute everybody and uh, so we can all say uh, wrap it up and and say thank you. Or, like I want to thank all of you. I'm just like some of you I haven't seen it in one space in so long. It's so great. Thank you for being on the call. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Everybody. Uh, bye. See you on the astral. We'll try to do this again soon. <laughs> Love and light to all. Namaste. Yes. Namaste. <laughs> Thank you.
sing, Stacy, sing. <laughs> Namaste in the house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna post that right now on my yoga group. I'll be like, hey. Namaste you in your house. You I love it. F and namaste <laughs> in the house. <laughs> that one I want to hear. That's awesome. That's I'm so nice. using it. Thank you. Oh, I'm posting that everywhere. Stay Actually, so writing it down. It. Namaste in your house. <laughs> Stacy does play in Chicago if you want to catch her band. So, oh. <laughs> well, I'm in Colorado. If I was in Chicago, I'd probably be sitting next to you on the couch right now. Yeah, we'd be in Six quarantine away. <laughs> well, I'm. Uh, I want to thank everyone. I'm going to sign off and thanks for joining and bringing your light thank and you. healing the planet and healing me. And thank you, thank you. Mwah. Thank, thank you. you.